Welcome back with all the bad news that we report that comes with COVID-19. It's refreshing to share some good news. A vaccine is making progress. It's the first to be tested on humans and it is showing promise. Our nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley joins us this morning to talk about this new development. Hey, Dr. Coley, good morning. So let's talk about this vaccine. How does it work to stimulate the immune system? Uh, good morning. So what's great about this vaccine, Natasha, is that you can't actually catch coronavirus from the vaccine. So sometimes when we make vaccines, we use a live version of the virus and dilute it out and inject it into the host. That's not the case here. What this is is an, a messenger RNA vaccine. So what that means is a small piece of the genetic code of the virus, the part that encodes for the spike protein on the virus, is injected into the host. The host actually makes the viral protein, and then the immune system can learn how to fight that protein by making antibodies and activating special immune cells called T cells. So it's a very clever vaccine that they've designed here. Very encouraging. You know, what did the results of the trial end up showing? So this was a phase one trial where they were looking for the right dose and they were looking to see whether or not participants mounted an antibody response uh, in response to being injected with the vaccine. So they had 45 participants. They tried a low, medium and high dose and they gave two shots of the vaccine. So one at day zero and one at day 28. And what they found was that everyone who received two shots of the vaccine actually had a robust antibody response, similar to what we saw with people who had natural infection and recovered from the virus. Not only did they have an antibody response, they mounted the right type of antibodies, which are these neutralizing antibodies that can inactivate the virus. Now, greater than 50% of the participants did have mild flu-like symptoms, uh, fever, uh, muscle aches, and chills, but they lasted for a very brief period of time, and that was just in response to the immune system getting activated. Again, they didn't catch the virus from the vaccine. So it's very encouraging, good safety signals, correct response. It checked all the boxes in this phase one trial. Now it's going to go into to the phase three trial, which is going to tell us about safety signals. It's going to tell us how long those antibodies last and whether it actually offers protection from the virus. Yeah, that will be really good if, you know, we can hold through to that phase. Uh, what, what about people um, getting them? Are, when will they be available? How does that process all work? So when the, the phase three trial is completed, they're going to start simultaneously manufacturing and distributing. But, you know, my main concern has been a survey that came out about six weeks ago where they looked at a survey of the general American population and only 49% of people said that they would get the vaccine when it becomes available. And 31% said that they weren't sure about it and 20% said that they wouldn't get it. So you can see here in blue all the people that said they wouldn't receive the vaccine if it becomes available. And this has me worried because the vaccine is only going to be as good as the people that are receiving it. And if you ask people why they're not willing to take the vaccine, 40% of them say they're worried about catching the virus. So I want to reassure everybody that that's not going to be the case if this vaccine comes to market. And 70% say they're worried about safety. Mm -hmm. And of course, we don't have long-term data because this is a brand new vaccine. But here we really have to trust the scientific process. And this next phase of trials is going to tell us about the safety signals by looking at a large number of people. Yeah, we ran a similar poll like that here on the morning show, and it was interesting. Same kind of split as what we saw in the national poll. You know, people still unsure about, you know, getting the vaccine. But, um, you know, you make great points. Thanks for clarifying that, you know, you're not going to catch it from the vaccine. And we do need those people to be part of the trial to know if it works. Dr. Coley, thank you so much. Absolutely.